on two days today. I did not do a video last week because the following week or the week before that I had done the video so late in the week by the time I was gonna make my 17 week update there was like literally nothing to update on so I decided to just go ahead and wait another week so that way I could get back on track and not do my videos like too late in the week so like I said I am 18 weeks and two days today there's sort of a lot to update on I haven't talked to you guys about this pregnancy in a little over a week so since I talked to you guys last I feel like I have grown so much like literally I feel like I've doubled in size on top of that I am officially feeling movement from the baby on the outside of my stomach instead of just feeling like little flutters on the inside I'm actually feeling it on the outside and so that's super super exciting and both Chris and my best friend have both gotten to feel the baby on the outside I will actually like sit there and stare at my stomach and I can see whenever the baby's going like insane I could actually see the little movements on the outside and it's so sweet so that of course is like one of the best parts of pregnancy and I'm super excited that we're finally at that point so now that we are at 18 weeks I feel like a completely different person. I mean like literally in the last week my pregnancy has went from like the absolute worst possible like everything that could go wrong was going wrong and just in this last week most things have gotten significantly better. For one my sickness is officially completely gone and like I've mentioned several times this pregnancy has been I felt like the worst sickness in this pregnancy and the longest sickness like for the longest time so just this last week my sickness has officially disappeared and it is absolutely amazing on top of that pretty much hand in hand with that I have gained my appetite back so not only is my sickness gone but I am eating normal things like I feel like I am actually a normal human being I'm eating the things that I used to like I still do have weird cravings though I'll be craving something that I've never liked before but for the most part I am eating normal again I just I'm feeling so much more normal and it is just a huge relief another thing this week is that my energy has just bounced back out of nowhere I had mentioned before that I was dead tired the beginning of this pregnancy I could not function and a lot of that was due to being anemic and once I started taking the iron pills it did help a lot however these last like three days especially like I feel like once I hit 18 weeks my energy is just back to normal. I cleaned my entire house today from top to bottom and I'm still not tired. Like I don't feel like I have to take it out. Most of the time I'd be sitting down and I'd be dead after that. I just feel so, so, so much better. So I'm so thankful that all of my bad symptoms seem to be kind of tapering off and I've been just feeling like a normal person again. Being that I am 18 weeks, like I said, I have grown significantly. I feel like, like I feel pregnant before I felt just mostly bloated I guess or I don't know I just I just didn't feel I just didn't quite feel pregnant yet and I officially feel pregnant now which I guess I should be because the baby at this point is just over five and a half inches I believe from head to bottom so how big is five inches oh I have a tape measure I could tell you how big five inches is so the baby at this point is somewhere around this size from head to bottom so that's just from the head to the bottom and of course it has like the little feet and the hands and stuff like that. I believe, that's what my app told me so I hope I'm saying that right. And the baby should be somewhere around 7-ish ounces now. The baby is just growing so rapidly at this point and I read somewhere that between 16 weeks and 20 weeks your baby doubles in size. So I definitely feel like I have doubled in size at least since 16 weeks. I can't even imagine for the next two weeks. I literally felt like I grew overnight and because of that, because of being bigger, I am having a lot of trouble sleeping and I know that my stomach isn't like big and in the way but I think this is mostly due to my muscle separation I can't explain this like I've tried explaining this to people and it's really hard to explain unless like you've been through it but with my stomach separation I am NOT able to get like the right kind of support that I need during pregnancy so I do usually wear two different maternity support belts so one of them sorry I'm kind of like going from one topic to another but this is one of them and so it just goes around and its main purpose is to kind of like hold the belly up and then on top of that the belt that I have um it's not actually a belt and I do not have it on me to show you but basically what it is it's like a spandex 
ish thing like a cami but it's like but it's spandex and it just goes over your stomach and the purpose of that is to kind of hold my muscles together so I will double up on those once I wear this with the spandex with usually my, my maternity pants over that I feel like a new person I actually feel supported and without those things I feel very I don't know how to explain it if I'm not wearing the kind of support that I need it feels like my guts are falling out of me like I don't know how to explain it Anyway, other than that, it just, I mean, it's really hard to explain because the way that my muscles are, I really just don't know how to explain it other than that. It really just feels like my guts are pouring out. So <laughs> I know that's kind of weird and kind of gross. So the point that I was originally making was I'm having trouble sleeping because when I'm not wearing any of these support belts at night, they're not the most comfortable thing in the world. So I haven't really tried sleeping with them on. So naturally I take them off at night and the way that my stomach carries like the way that I'm sitting in my bed because I'll usually sleep on my side well but when I'm not pregnant I like to sleep on my stomach but obviously that's not the best idea when you're pregnant so I've been sleeping like on my side ish and my belly feels like it's heavy anyway the point that I'm trying to make is that it's very uncomfortable so I have to have like seven pillows like underneath my head propping me up propping my stomach up a certain way so that way it's not like hanging down so it's just been a really tough thing and then if I lay on one side for too long that side gets super uncomfortable so I have to switch to the other side so I don't know I don't know if I just need a new mattress I think it's mostly just like me being uncomfortable but yeah whatever it is I am not getting the proper sleep that I should be getting I feel like so changing subjects I have scheduled my anatomy scan because usually you get your anatomy scan somewhere between 18 and 20 weeks and that's just where you like check the measurement well not me but the tech <laughs> checks the measurement of the baby make sure everything's growing properly so I have scheduled that for I believe it's July 6th so I think I'll be 20 weeks I should be 20 weeks right then and so that's the next time I will have pictures for you guys so that will be one of the last times we'll get any pictures of the baby until it's born at the anatomy scan, that's when a lot of people, I think probably most people, find out what they're having. So I'm going to walk into that room and I'll be like, we do not want to find out what it is. I'm going to lay down. We do not want to find out what it is. And then when he puts it on, we still don't want to find out what it is. Like, I don't want him to forget and, like, accidentally have it slip. And on top of that, I'm afraid I'm going to see something. I think what I'll do, and if anybody who has been through this, I would love tips on this, but... I think what, I, what I'm planning on doing is going in and like not looking at the screen until he puts it on. Because what if he puts the probe on and then it's like boom, right there. Like you can see between the legs, you know? So I think I'll just purposely not look until it's safe. Because I do want to see the baby. I want to see the baby moving and kicking. That's like the best part of going into those ultrasounds. I don't want to miss out and just like not look the whole time. But I really just don't want to accidentally see something. So my plan is to just tell him like let me know when you're getting close to that. That area and then like when he initially puts it on make sure that I don't look but that is my plan for that and like I said that is scheduled for July 6th and the last thing that I really have to update on is baby names I know that everybody is super excited to hear our baby names and I'm here to announce that I am not announcing it in this video <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding that was mean I do want to say though we have officially picked out for sure our boy name and our girl name first and middle name so we were having trouble finding a middle name, especially for the boy name that we had picked out. After I announce the names, I'll explain it more. We were just having a lot of trouble finding middle names for, especially for the boy mainly. The girl name we kind of have had picked out for ever. We just knew, we heard this name, we loved it, we knew that it was the right one. For the boy, that one's been really tough, but we have officially found a name that we both are absolutely in love with. When we decided on the name, Chris was like, okay, I really want a boy now because he really likes this name. So, and he's been really, really wanting a girl. And I know a lot of people have asked this, what, do we want a boy or do we want a girl? For me, I am honestly very torn. I would love to have another little girl to dress up in bows and pink because it's been so long. Having so many boys, it's been a long time since I had a baby girl. Not to mention Lilia. I mean, if you tell that girl, like she, I just hope she's not devastated if it comes out being a boy. She is really, really, really hoping for a girl. So that part of me really kind of hopes that I have a girl. But I think just as equally, I think I said this before, but I absolutely love the dynamic that we have in our family. I love that we have the one princess and all of the boys to protect her. So 
that has been really tough for me. It's hard for me. I mean, I just, I don't want one or the other. I would absolutely love getting to have a girl and I would absolutely love getting to have another boy. I would not be disappointed in any way, shape or form if I had a girl or if I had a boy. I think both of them have their perks and I'm excited about both of those perks. I'm excited about getting to have another boy and, and keeping our family dynamic the same where we have all of these boys and just the one princess. But on top of that, I know that my one princess really, really, really wants to share the throne. So <laughs> I don't want a certain gender. I don't want a boy or want a girl. I would be honestly happy with both. As long as your baby is happy and healthy, that's really all that matters. I really just don't have a preference. And a lot of people were also asking me what I felt like I was having, because you know you get that like intuition, and I don't have it. <laughs> I really don't. I don't feel like I'm having a boy or feel like I'm having a girl, really. It's just neutral. I mean, I just, I don't have that feeling this time around. And I don't think it's a secret that Chris is really pulling for a girl. He, of course, would love a boy as well. I just think that it would be special to him to have a girl because, I mean, he has Lilia, of course, but it's just it's just a little different getting to have your own blood in a female form, like the opposite gender, you know? So I think that he is kind of leaning more towards a girl naturally, but me, I really would just absolutely love both. Not both at the same time though. I don't want a boy and a girl. <laughs> I'll just take one, please. I don't want to do twins again. Either way, boy or girl, I am perfectly happy and I'm not pushing for one or the other. So that being said, I think that is pretty much all I have to update on this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my my rapidly growing 18 week belly. So as you can tell, I think I have grown a lot. I feel like I have just grown so much. I feel like I actually look pregnant now as opposed to just being chunky, you know? So here is with the shirt on. And here is with the shirt up. I think I was at like 35 and a half. I don't quote me on that. You can go watch my last video to get an accurate measurement, but that's where I think I was at before. So I am now at, so yeah, I am measuring at almost 37 and a half now. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like just about 37 and a half. So yeah, I've definitely grown a lot. <laughs> I didn't think I grew like two inches, but if I'm remembering right, and I was 35 and a half, then I did grow almost two inches. Anyway, that is it for this week, guys. I am going to be announcing the names. Hopefully, I will get around to announcing the names before next week, but if not, definitely right around week 20. So week 20 was my original goal and maybe I can get up a little bit sooner. So that is something to look forward to as well as I'm gonna do like a full gender old wives tales video with all the different ones together. And I have a couple more tests that I need to do before I do that video. So look out for those and make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. And other than that, I will talk to you guys next week for week 19. Bye. I had a lot of people telling me to look out for preeclampsia. The paper that I got said that I have like a one in 100,000 chance.